Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ginger. The channel is called Just Ginger's Love of Disney and it's a true statement, you guys. I love Disney so much, but today we're here for a very special reason. We're here <laughs> to pick out my top five gym shores. Now, I have a few of them, but to be fair, I've kind of picked out my five, but to be fair, hold that thought. I've got two boxes like this that have come from overseas that do have Jim Shore in them. So I'm going to open this one real quick and then maybe pick my top five because there might be one or two in here. And I'm not going to worry about the second box because this is not an opening, but we'll go through it real fast. Okay. Because I want to be fair, right? Don't you think? Okay. So stay right here. We're going to open this up and see if any of my top five are in here. Okay, so this little collab is hosted by Sarah over at Sarah's Disney Magic. Um, sorry, just wanna make sure I don't knock anything off. Sarah, thank you for including me every year in this. I think this is the second year that we did this. And I'm sorry to turn this into an opening for like me and like, you know, all my gym shores and stuff. But I truly don't know what's in here. There is a little card. Um, thank you for your purchase. Have a great 2024. Enjoy your gym shore items, regards. Ilko. Um, it's this card. You guys, I'm sorry I'm turning this into an opening, but I want to be fair. You know, this again, this comes from overseas. This is the second box. There was an outer box in it. Uh, I don't, okay, I don't know if this is one of my favorites. <laughs> I mean, cause literally there is a grail out there and I don't know if it's in this box or the second box or the first box, whatever. Oh, <gasps> this is my grail right here. So this is this is gonna be my favorite. Sorry, I just wanted to find that one. And yes, I'm looking at the sides of them because, um, oh my gosh, this is a Christmas one. This one will go under my bed because you guys, I've run out of space. So I've just started sliding them under my bed now. Um, not all, but most of my Christmas ones, some of my Christmas ones are under my bed. This is going to go in my favorite. Um, Michelle, if you're watching, stay tuned for this one. Uh, what's this? Oh my gosh. Okay, I think this is also a Christmas one. How about we just not open the Christmas ones for sure? But look, you can tell they're old school because they have uh, the old school boxes. And this one looks like it's been beat up a little bit. But he is such, he has such good stuff. What is this? This is a Halloween one. You guys, when I watched his live show, I was like, okay. Now these are just Christmas ornaments. I saw them and I was like, okay, I'll have to buy them. But um, going under my bed. Okay, so how many was in there? One, two, three, four, five, six. There were seven items in this box. And when I was watching his live show, I did try to buy more, but I missed out. Let me throw this over there. Okay, so to be fair, when I was watching his live show, um, it, it's a different language for me because it's like, God, I don't even know where it's from. But they would write a number to say like what number they're talking about. And I either, I couldn't read the number because it was well, kind of a, I don't even know how to explain it. But I would be too late to say claim or sold or whatever it was I had to. But a lot of the times I was late and I was like, but I don't know what you just said. So, okay, let's get to this. Um, okay, let me show you my grail first because I could show you what I have. And then, um, anyway, sorry. Okay, let's open this. This is a grail I have been wanting for so long. And I pro oh, I don't want to say I probably could have gotten it cheaper. I don't know. I haven't been able to find her. Okay. To say the word I'm so excited would be an understatement because I've been wanting this for so long. So, Michelle, if you're watching, comment right now if you know what this is. Although I did tell you what I bought. I tried to get Michelle because she's also a Jim Shore, you know, collector like me. And if it's signed by Jim Shore, you guys. Okay, that just made me just a little more excited. Okay, you guys ready? This has been a grail of mine for so long. Okay, ready? And here we go. Okay, 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so the reason I want to show you this is they have the same exact design in a white woodlands that I've owned. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the white woodlands, but look at this, you guys. I'm coming up. Okay, look at her. Isn't she just adorable? She's pink. And just look at that. Look at all the little mice down here and the detailing on the bottom. Look, a little shoe. This is my first time seeing it up close, guys, right with you because, and I'm trying to look and make sure I keep it in the frame while I look. Oh, wow. Just the pickups or whatever those are called. And this ribbon. Jim Shore, you did phenomenal on this one. Look at all the the Jim Shore detailing and just look at her face. She's just looking down at him like, thank you so much for making me this dress. And you guys, look, the 2019. Okay, grail item, check, check. All right, so I, I'm going to set you in here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look, all the blue back there and that pink one just stands out. I might have to buy some more risers. Okay, so I'm gonna take this white woodland. Sandra, do you have this one? Um, anyway, I'm gonna set it over here on a shelf of things I would like to get rid of. Okay, so this next one, you guys, I have been wanting this one for quite some time. Um, I have a friend out there, you guys might know her, Michelle. Uh, God, I don't even think this one's ever, ever been open. Anyway, uh, but she and I are like Minnie and Daisy best friends kind of thing. So, uh, so anyway, one day, one year, this was a couple of years ago, uh, I took a trip with her and a couple other gal, gal pals, and, um, my goal was to take all the pictures I could of all like the poses of the two, Minnie and Daisy, and then like get Michelle and I in the same poses and kind of start a little scrapbook thing or something. But because there were so many people there, it was hard to just say, hey, I want to take a picture, but not with you guys. Um, so it never happened. But anyway. Oh, okay, so this we'll call this number two. But it's number two because I finally got it. Look. I've got to mark this off my Elster. Yep, got her. Got it. Got him. Um, up here, I have the only other one that I'm aware of. The only other Jim Shore that I'm aware of with Minnie and Daisy on it. There you go. So now I got the other one. If there is another one, somebody let me know and I'll go hunt it down. But look. So, okay, so that's numbers one and two. Let's set that right there. Um, number three is right over here on my Moana shelf, or my, um, what is this called? <laughs> Moana, make way, make way. Anyway, I am picking him. I am picking Maui because the detail on this dude is just beyond, beyond. So you guys have seen this before, but just look at all the detail that we have on Maui here. I mean, you've seen the movie, right? And just look, he's got all of the carvings on his back, the leaves of his um, you know, wrap or whatever, and you go, hey! But just like, look at all the detail on him. It, it This is just stunning. Um, is it my favorite? Cause, oh my gosh, it's, you know, it, it's cool. It's Maui, he's awesome. Um, but the detail on this that Jim Shore put in there is just beyond reproach. And I just think that it's stunning. So I have to say this would be number three. I'm not counting, but okay. So you see right here, like you like the shelf here and then you've got one carousel. That's gonna be my next collection is the carousel horses. Okay, so that's number three. Number four would have to be uh, this one. This one is fairly new. You guys have seen this one as well. But if you can get in here and just look at the detail. I mean, the stairs back there, that's not a picture, you guys. That's actual, like, car carvings. It's like da 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 da, -da. So the staircase and the stairs and just look at the detail back there with the fairy godmother. Look at her little itty bitty tiny wand. And then the detail on his jacket and her dress. 
it's just look and you've got the two mice it, this is just a stunning piece um i know it's called uh love at first sight um i know there's like a series like this you know uh where they're inside part of the film you know like uh snow white is in her apple and over here you see right here bell and beast are in a bell but I don't know the name of the series, but look at that. The detail in this is, again, beyond reproach. I, I can't even tell you how amazing this is. So rather than try to get, well, I'll get it back in there real quick. Okay, so that's number four, right? Okay, and number five, hmm. Well, I have a toss up, but I'm gonna pick this one. I was gonna pick the, carousel horse right here with Minnie Mouse on it because of the whole story how I got her but for my last and final Jim Shore and I'm probably wrong on all this and I know I have more in a box over there that I haven't opened but we're not opening today although we kind of did is this one okay so I believe if you were to equate this to any movie this would be um Frozen 2 because remember she's in the very beginning she's like walking along and but she's in a different She's in a totally different dress. Anyway, so this is Jim Shore's, sorry. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but look, she's got all of these daisies. And you guys know that if I were to say what uh, Disney character would best represent me, I would probably either pick her or Tinkerbell because both of them are a little sassy and a little spunky. And that's how I see myself. I'm a little sassafras and I'm spunky to all get out. But just look at her. She's got a little mischievous smile. She's carrying a bunch of uh, sunflowers, which are indicated on her dress as well. Just the detail and how cute is she? Just, and look at her bow. Her bow or whatever that is hanging off her head, whatever you want to call it, ribbons, they're in motion. Look at that. It's like in motion as with her dress. Um, just the detail. Okay, not a lot of detail right there, but if you turn it around, look at all that detail. And yes, I keep these little tags on them. And generally, I don't keep the boxes. But being that I've moved recently, I'm trying to start to keep them just in case I have to do that again. Just, okay, so she would be my last of the favorite. Because um, she's, she's my girl. Okay, so I'll set Miss Anna down there. And just, and of course, you guys, I've got so many up here that have so many detail, like this Peter Pan one. Why don't we just call this an honorable mention? Bringing this one out scares the daylights out of me because it is so, so delicate. Okay, so this is Peter Pan on Peter Pan's ride and you see Tinkerbell right there. Uh, sometimes it looks like she should be right back here, but she just dangles, so whatever. But this one's got like string holding up a sail. This is, I, I'm speechless with this just the detail on this one and how delicate it is with with pink up there look at her see she's just up there she kind of jiggles I, just the detail so this is i guess your my honorable mention but i'm mentioning this one because it whoa because it's so stinking delicate and and perfect it's you know the disneyland ride series and there's peter pan in his peter pan ride it's so stinking delicate. I don't even like to pick it up, but I did it for you. Okay, let me set it back down before I decide to drop. Whoa. So cute. Okay, so that was my top five Jim Shore. Uh, well, you know, just top five for reasons that they're not. Anyway, you guys know the reasons you heard me. Thank you for hanging out with me while I did that opening, but I just knew that in one of the two boxes, I had a couple I wanted to really show off. Um, and I'm glad I did because look at that one. She's in my collection and she is signed by Jim Shore himself. I think now I'm up to four that are signed. Mother Gothel is signed and I only have three. I don't know, whatever. Um, he didn't sign them in my presence, but nonetheless, whatever. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Sarah, thank you for including me in this. Um, I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for being with me while I went through so much stuff in my life and I paused my videos, um, but I wanna be back. So please hang with me and let's do this together. Thank you so much for all your continued support. You have no idea how blessed I feel to be part of this community. 
Um, thank you so much for hanging out. Remember, whatever you do, do it safely so you guys can always come back to me and always have the courage to be kind. As my shirt says, if you're reading this, be kind. You know, Sunshine Sisters, look what I'm wearing. Not sponsored yet. Just kidding, but not kidding. Um, all right, you guys, take care of yourselves. I love you much. Ta-ta for now. Smoochies. Go, go. Comment below. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Ta-ta.